Thanks a lot, Victor. Now let's uh, take a look at what the Central Bank of Kenya Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge is saying about uh, Kenya's economic growth throughout this electioneering period. He says that the Central Bank of Kenya is cautiously monitoring how the economy is performing. And despite fears that the economy was going to dip during the electioneering period, it appears that Kenyans were prepared uh, for this electioneering period. And so while they are reviewing the performance of Kenya from 5.8% to about 5.4 or 5.3, it still uh, is showing signs of resilience in terms of performance. Tend to be very loud with our politics. And uh, I think the point here is that also we are very resilient as, as a people mentioned that we had a voter turnout of 79.2 percent and uh, the expectation of every single Kenyan that will go back and vote as indicated and the outcome of that is something that we will all support because we know that the this will lead to market-based principles or market-based policies in the next five years. Economic growth projections are imprecise. They are not always very precise. But I would add that uh, we as a central bank are looking at our own projections. The last projections we had, we shared them with you. We were still talking of a number that is in above or around 5.5%. But I think the point here is that, yes, the, we, we know that there is an analyst that actually came up with this number, which is south of uh, 5%. And uh, we would want to talk to them, and I would encourage you to ask the analyst how this number came up. Uh, so what exactly went into it? And uh, what are the assumptions? What is he saying? That, uh, is it a reduction in consumption? Is it a reduction in uh, government spending? Is it a reduction? What is it? What is driving it? So I think that's the question I would ask you, um, you and uh, in turn ask the analysts about this. So from my perspective, we are revising the numbers. We'll soon be doing that in the context of the next um, release of the Q2 data, actual data, which will be at the end of this month. 